Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode. Just leaving Yarmouth. Looking at another boat, like another lobster boat. Not sure why he's out, unless he's um, able to do nets or long lines at the moment. But just leaving Yarmouth. We're going to go out to where we um, where we got the information where the Silver Hake is at the moment. So we'll go and see if there's more than just Silver Hake in that location and try and bring in some fish. Uh, last episode, we brought in a ton of fish. Um, have we left some lines out and down here, um, which is not great, not the best thing to do. Um, but we'll do it. We'll leave it there for now and see what happens. Um, let's head up here and head down this way. Then we'll head like down here and we'll see what we can um, find where this silver hake is. So we'll keep an eye on our boat just in case there's something that we can unlock with our radar. Alright, let's have a look here. Okay, there's some silver hake right there. Let's go and grab you to prepare some gear. Come in here, we want to set you ready to go. Let's set um, our working lights. So I don't know what's going to be the best price again at the moment after our last episode. Ah, uh, seven ninety-eight, Cod Pollock, two seventy for Silver Hake, eight dollars thirty at Lunenburg. The Silver Hake isn't really paying that much, three fifty-six, but it's still the Cod, which is a great price. That is what I'd like to see us bring on board. As much of that as we can. Alright, so we'll just wait until we see some stuff on. Obviously some silver hake just here. There's some more silver hake as well and some mackerel actually. So we'll throw out... Then we got 8,000 per net last time. That was with us catching. So I think we'll throw out... I don't know, should we throw out six lines, six nets again, but let them take care of it, or should we throw out the four and we take care of it? I think I think we'll do a test. We'll throw out the four um, and we'll haul them in, like I'll take care of it, and um, we'll see what happens. If we're getting 8,000 again, See, prepare that net or what? Yeah, he's prepared it good. There's some lobster there too. Um, if we fill the boat with just four nets, then I'll know that we can do it on just four nets. We can set four, uh, you know, wait four hours or so, and then set another four that, and stuff like that, and do it all ourselves, um, and rake in some money that way. And then if we let these guys do it, it might only average about 4,000. So that'll be about five to six knots, or six knots, six nets for them to do it. So we'll do a test. We'll throw out, as I said, these four, see how we go. There's definitely some more silver hake down here, some more redfish. I haven't seen any cod yet, unfortunately. That's where the money's going to be at for us at the moment. So we really want to try and see some cod on the map pretty soon. So there's a some extra, a lot of redfish down here. Maybe we may even change to that line fishing next episode and target the silver hake. That might be an idea as well. I would like to do a um, live stream of this soon as well for our, or well, the month of November for my Movember campaign, We're trying to raise funds to reduce the rate of suicide globally in men. So if you guys haven't seen my post yet on my channel, head on over to my channel, go to the community section and check it out. If you'd like to donate or even just become a member of the team and grow a mustache for Movember, you know, feel free, join our team, share some photos, you know, share with your friends and let's try and raise some money and you know, reduce 
the amount of suicide in men, you know, globally. It's, um... Oh, what are we up to there? That's four, I think. It's, um, not weak to speak, and it's okay to not be okay. Um, actually, you get off there for now. So that's four nets in there. That's what we wanted. Alright, so that's good. We'll, um... Head back to the start. And... Guess we'll see what happens. Come on, there we go. Turn that off. Uh, what are we up to? So if we rest for um, 18 hours. But some people have asked me to make a video on how to anchor. Like it's it's quite obvious. I thought, come to your clock. It says anchor. So I I don't know if I really need to make a video for it because I only go for about 30 seconds, but. If you guys are unsure on how to anchor, that's um that's pretty much how. It's really um not that hard. But it's, yeah, I'm not sure why people haven't been able to work it out. But if you haven't been able to work it out and now you have, then glad I could help. Right, so let's go and reel these guys in and we'll see how we go, whether we're actually on the fish or not. So we've got some redfish, some other fish, pollock or haddock, I don't know. I don't know if this changes every time we drive over. I guess it would every time we drive over, it would change because it's a different time. I thought I was going to completely miss that then. Right, let's um get this on board, some redfish. Let's just hope we see a lot of cod. This will give us the opportunity too to unlock um, the two other ports we haven't been to yet. Uh, Digby and I think Ingles Head are the other two. There's some cod. That's what you want to see. Some North Atlantic gold. Oh, and another one. Beautiful. Got 9 of 15, so we've still got 15 on the net. Pretty good, but I don't know how we're going to go as far as the weight goes. Come on, some more redfish. We need some more cod. Some silver hake. So yeah, I don't know if we should come out and do some long line fishing and target the silver hake or not. I mean, we're not only get, just going to get silver hake when we try and target them, but try and fill that boat up with those because they're I'm not sure on the price how good they are um, I know the weight's very low but that wasn't too bad see 5712 can't complain um, Victor let's get him out here and gun him he might as well like try and um, get them both some good experience see her hand gunning went up really high as well because she was hand gunning for so long while we were travelling back in So what we can do is, we can reel these four in, what we might do is move over and then throw out another four nets and then take this catch in. I think that would be um, a smarter thing to do. What do we have on board? So cod and haddock and pollock, most of again. I know it's meant to be the silver hake area, but as I said, we might be getting a lot of silver hake. They're just not very heavy. See, there's only nine on this one. So we might be going completely the wrong way. They might be swing north and not actually south. So the four nets might not have been enough in this area. Especially if I can't get something a little bit better than okay. It's a beautiful cod, that's what we want. Get the big boys on. Some more silver hake. And I need one more. Ah, there we go. Definitely finish it off with some cod. Perfect. 
Yeah, only 2,000, so not great. So we got, let's see, 331 silver hake. So all about the same amount of all the fish. They're just not very heavy. As you can see, only 700 kilos compared to, what, 341 for, so like half the weight of Pollock and like, you know, a third of the weight of the cod. Look at him go, look at him cutting away. Let's um, get a screenshot here, if we can. Right, there we go, perfect. Still plenty of fish in the area though, so I don't know. If we've gone the wrong way or just not as populated as we thought. I don't know. 12 this time, so that's better. I think we'll definitely um, throw down our, our f another four nets. But we'll see how much we get on this. If four, these four nets aren't close enough to fill it, we might even throw out six. And um, just see what happens. Come on, where's all the cod? Up, oh, still none. Some silver hake. Yeah, I think next uh, next episode we'll definitely come out. We'll do a bit of long lining and um, and see what we can find. See if we can get a whole heap of silver hake on board. I know the price at the moment is for cod, um, but eventually that's going to obviously dip quite a bit, depending on how much we actually take into port and stuff like that. The price will slowly drop down once the price gets. A little low, we can um, jump back on to obviously our deep lining and stuff, but other 3,700 kilos isn't too bad. Um, how's our guarding? He's doing alright. Three fours and fives. Probably no worse than me. I really wasn't that good at it. So with this boat as well, we can go for swordfish and tuna, I think, and also some um, lobster. Which is good. I didn't know we could do deep lining on this. I don't, actually don't know if we can. I wasn't sure if we could. Um, let me have a quick look. The Lenore. Yes, yeah, so net, long line, crabbing. Line, oh, and deep line. Well, there we go. We could use this boat for deep line. Definitely be able to get 20,000 kilo of tuna on board. That would um, That would be great, really. So we won't have to use the Mickey anymore, but the only problem is this thing is really slow. It's not um not the fastest boat out there, and I'm pretty sure we did do the full engine upgrade. And she's still quite slow. And we could we could call it um slow retirement. Or slow poke or something, I don't know. Look at this three cod in a row, that's that's what I want to see. Silver hake. Redfish. I haven't even looked yet. Did we get 15 on the line this time? Or no, 13. There we go. Not bad. Still don't think we're quite in an ideal spot, but it's not a bad spot either. So the only thing I'm going to think of now is long line fishing if it's 2,000 hooks how many long lines are we going to have to throw out that's going to be another issue unless we kind of just throw out three lines wait four hours throw out three lines wait four hours that way we're not losing any catch boom there we go 4,244 so 15,000 nearly 16,000 kilos so really can't complain um, she can go to prepare gear. We should have... Okay, so we've got one net that is damaged. Which isn't isn't too bad, I guess. Let's go this way. That was seven days ago, so God knows where they're going now. Let's head that way. And we'll go full speed. And then I want to try and head up here to make our next sail, so... 
Um, yep, that's all set. The full steam ahead. We'll throw some out here. There's some, some good cod in the area. Oh, three cod there. That's good. We'll throw out. We did four nets last time, didn't we? Um, I think we can throw out the five. Look at that. That's pretty good. Three cod. Some tuna and some swordfish, but it's only... Which it's 103 metres deep, so we can actually do deep lining here. Don't really want to go too far away. Now, have these other ones disappeared? Not yet. They're probably not too far away from disappearing, so... Right, she's still... Yep, she's still preparing, just making sure. Right, we'll throw out the next one as soon as we can. So I wish we could that number, I wish that number would, you know, maybe be up the top corner here, or maybe be on the outside, so it doesn't affect what we can actually see on the sonar. Just, you can't, like, I, I could see that there was fish behind that, but I couldn't see exactly what it was. Look at him, he's gutting some cod. Oh, what a good fella. Alright, I want to get a screenshot of these guys too. Obviously once this silly thing disappears. But it's not a bad boat, it just needs some more grunt in the engine. It really does. Uh, there we go. Oh, so there's some cod and redfish. Tuna and swordfish. Plenty of stuff in the area. So that's two lines in, two nets in, I should say. Right, how's he going? He should be doing all right. Uh, set, guarding. He's got more five star than not five star, so that's good. Uh, fresh fish. So yeah, there's hardly gutted anything. 15.6. He's only cut like a couple hundred kilos. Uh, if we go here. Yeah, like 217 kilos of silver hake. That's all he's done. 102. So what's he actually doing? 77 fish an hour, so not much. I'm not quite sure on what her hand cutting was, but obviously a lot better than his, so we will um, sort them back over when we can. I'd like him to get his hand gutting up really high too. Both of them with really high hand gutting would be good. There's definitely some... feels like there's more fish in this area than what it was down south, so maybe they are swimming north northwest. Alright, so that's number four. Yeah, so maybe if they're going northwest, maybe next time we can go west and just sort of see if they're heading west or the northwest. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know which way the fish travel and I don't think there's a certain way they travel just for fish like this. Maybe like tuna and um, swordfish might head to deeper waters when it's when it's cooler or when it's hotter or something. I don't know. I'm not, um, not that big into fish and where they go and where they don't go. So don't, um, don't ask me for advice. Right, so we'll get her to throw in two more nets. Just wish this boat would go that little bit quicker. She's pretty bloody slow. Okay, throw another one in. So I definitely like the... Actually, this one's... This is the net that's nearly damaged. You can see there, look. It's, the red is bad and the white is the good part. So that's a bad net. Probably didn't want to throw that one out, but okay. Yeah, she definitely threw out the, the one that was damaged, which we probably shouldn't have done. Ah, uh, good on ya. Alright, doesn't matter. Alright, so that's five that we've just thrown out, so we can throw out one more. So she can go back to 
Actually, you can go and repair for a little. Actually, no. You go there. You can go there. You can go there. You guys can swap. Do the swap to Rooney. And uh, we'll see what she's 109 an hour instead of 77. So definitely better, but not a massive amount better, I suppose. Come on, boat. Go that little bit quicker. At least we don't have to slow down when we're setting the nets, I guess. Like it's um. We're only allowed to do five knots anyway. And I don't think... No, I don't think... Like the swells up that high to slow us down either, which is... Which is a good thing. You can see here that net is completely white. So it means it has 0% damage on it. Alright, there we go. That's that done. Now let's go... All the way... Up yeah, into here. It's going to take us a while to get there. Let's hope we don't run out of fuel. We didn't go far though from Yarmouth to here. Right, we'll unlock this spot, the Gulf of Maine. Beautiful. Head this way. I think there's some spots in here. I know there's spots up here somewhere, but I can't remember where all the locations actually are. This boat is chasing us down. Unlock. I think there was two then. Oh, Ingleshead and the Grand Manan Island. Alright. Go straight into here. Shut the boat down. Uh, she's probably too tired to work. How is she? Uh, no, but she obviously didn't go for very long. Um, let's go and put our work lights on. We'll go out and take care of the rest of the gutting. Got fish. I yeah, see so a thousand kilos they gutted, so they're not very good. You can see this knife does not look like it's cutting the right spot at all, but as I said, ignore where the blade's going. Just have a look where your mouse is going. Right, let's go like this. I want to grab a screenshot there. There we go. Look at that. Cool. Five stars. It's, oh, so it's better than the old half a star. Go. Oh, the big redfish. Look how fat these things are. Big fat things. Bringing in the money. I don't even know what the price of stuff is here, but uh, oh, that didn't work. Don't click and let go, otherwise you don't gut it at all. Okay, 8,600 kilos left. It takes forever. We need like a, an extra gutting machine. Use the card. Look at these. So these guys are probably about as fat as a redfish, but they're just definitely longer. God, there's some terrible gutting going on here. I reckon there should be an option that we don't have to gut, we can sell the fish whole. Um, and pay like a gutting fee, so if you want to pay for someone at port to gut instead of us, I mean that would be pretty cool. Especially if you're not very good at gutting. You should just be able to come and dump um, ungutted and get a little bit less as far as the price goes. Or if you come to port and hire someone to gut for you, pay that price and then you can sell the fish for a higher price depending on how, how well they're actually gutted. Right, there we go. Done. Uh, Dock at Ingle's head. Oh god, so the pollock's really good. Haddock's good. Cod's down. Redfish is down. Yeah, silver hake's not too bad. So it's not bad, like the, the cod price isn't great. Uh, which makes me sort of think... Um, don't sell the redfish. Sell that, and then we can head back to Yarmouth. Sell those. There, maybe. Actually, I don't want to go to the bank, I want to go to the bar. No tips. Um, okay, let's come out of here. Let's go forward. We can quickly head to Yarmouth. It's definitely a slow ass boat, this one. 
Uh, let's throw those lights off. We don't need them at the moment. We can throw our interior lights on though. Now, how many hours have they got on? Seven hours? Six, yeah, that's fine. That'll give us 13 hours. A lot of you guys said yes to fast travel. I know it costs us more in fuel, but for the content, it's the better idea. So there we go, 795, 263, definitely worthwhile travelling to here. We can go refuel again, quickly check the bar. Uh, Pollock from a week ago, we'll check that and see what happens. So where's the Pollock from a week ago? Uh, down there, there you go, so there's some swordfish. Is that from us? I think that might be us. That's definitely us, so we can ignore those. Uh, there's nowhere for cod though, they haven't really shown us where the cod is. Alright, so if we go to here, the old wobbly, uh, let's fast travel. I don't know, do we call this fast travel or map travel? I don't know. I'll make sure we don't miss anything. Right, there we go, and then we'll just go, oop, stop looking at our, our crotch. Skip forward, that should be, yeah, perfect. All right, let's shut the door, sit down, let's go. Uh, you can, actually, uh, yeah, you go there and you go there. I wonder if that helps. I don't know. If they can both come out, we'll start her up. And we'll head towards our first, first line. We'll, um, we'll sit in here and, and let them do their thing. I like doing the first person view stuff, but it does make it hard to line things up. We'll see how it goes with the first haul. If it's really, really low and really crap, then I may go out and finish the other four or f four or five, I think. There we go. They can bring that in. Let's turn there. Let's have a bit of a look. Silver hake, some cod. Can we actually go up here? Around to the front? Ah, we can. Oh, so it seems like I'm really zoomed in, and I was. Um, let's not fall off the side. Let's see how they're doing. I need a silver hake. Some more silver hake. Some cod. Perfect. See what they reel in. So we've still got um, 3,800, so that's not too bad. So that should be enough for us to fill the boat. I think there's three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. So that should be enough for us to fill the boat with letting them do it themselves. I don't want to set nets back down again of where we already just, you know, caught everything. So I'd like to move. Keep move, what, move to deeper water next. Grab our long line and head to deeper water next time, I think. And then, yeah, that way we're not fishing in the one spot and we can actually try and not to overfish the one area, you know, and kill that population too much. All right, there we go. Now, someone did say to me that it's because the speed that we were picking the nets up is why we're breaking them. I don't think that matters. I think it's just because of um, the way it was at the time. Um, it was a bit of a um, bit of a known bug that I was having some issues with. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it makes any difference. But I'm going to be careful with this left mouse here because it keeps coming up as catch. Yep, done. So that wasn't great, but still, hopefully these guys can build, build on some skill. Net hauling, she's got good net hauling, he hasn't as much, but hand gutting, I might, uh, so I want Victor to do some hand gutting too, but yeah, I don't know, it's really not that great. So we've got more cod than anything again which we'll have to check and see where the prices are again and see if um, Yarmouth is actually dropping its price with COD yet. They, they might just need a huge amount of it, that's why it's still so high. Oh, 
one, so we'll come up on net number three. A little bit longer episode, this episode, I think. Oh, there we go, slow it down a bit. Perfect, let them reel it in. Have a look under the boat. Uh, yeah, not much in this area. So if you go back to a kilometre view, which really isn't that good. Given the 250 view, it shows there's a decent amount of fish in this area. The current quotas. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on quota. Only 10,000 kilos of cod, so only a tenth of the way. Oh, so that's not very good now. Uh, I think you can go there, you go there, you go there, uh, you go back to there. And I think I'll actually take over now because you're just not doing it very well. I mean, it could be me, we could be in a bad spot, but three lines to go. Want to make sure we get better, better stuff on board than that. Right, so what have we got? Um, still the most cod and pollock and haddock, which doesn't surprise me. I guess as far as numbers go, I mean, they're still pretty even. It's just the weight. And because you sell on weight, that's what you want to go off, I guess. Right, let's get this next one hauled in. Silver hake. Oh, it's only five, so we're definitely not going the right way. Definitely not. It looks like the fish are still heading south. So we need to remember that. So we might throw out a marker um, of Silver Hake going south. So I was blaming him for it. It's not him, it's me. It's the captain's fault. Because we're not on fish. Definitely not on fish. So I will apologise. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's go down here and go Silver Hake. And about down here, that way we know we're sort of heading this way again. But we'll still move over and go a little bit deeper with our um, long lines and see see if we can find some stuff there. What was... Um, I thought... Oh, there you go. There's something. Is that tuna swimming around or is that something else? That might be some tuna swimming around over here. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. I mean, I can see it. Now I can't because that's in the way. I would definitely swim around over there. You can sort of see him just here and just here. There's definitely stuff swimming around. I think it's below 100 metres too though, so it's not going to be good for us to go deep lining, but harpooning would be alright. Although we can't harpoon off this boat. Uh, 9, and this is our really broken net, so not bad. Gone from 5 to 9. But still... Our lowest heading south was 9, so I don't think this is the right way to go heading north. Might just be another, you know, another school of fish heading south. So we need some perfects now. We're struggling a little bit. See, Barrett C used to be the WASD keys and stuff. I think this is a lot better. I like the way they do it this way. It's just a bit more challenging. Fishing bar and sea, pressing the keys, was just way too easy. But I'm hoping this, same as um, with long lining, it gives you more of a catch doing it this way. So even this, this is still not great. I've got great numbers. Still the cod and pollock and haddock, but yeah, not great numbers. But let's see if I can... Um, where are they? They're right here somewhere. There they are. Yep, just tuna. Just some tuna swimming. Nothing to see here. That is so good to see. I mean, I'd love to be able to see some, you know, like cod and silver hake and all the other fish swimming around as well. It'd be pretty cool, but I mean, that's that is awesome love how they've been able to implement that. That's a big fat tuna. It's what you want to see when you got the harpoons out. Right, so last one. 
can we get a decent one on this net? I don't know. Fingers crossed. Let's reel it in and see. 11. That's definitely going to help us. Can we get 5,000 kilos off this one? I really hope so. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, they've made it too hard for simple people like me. Right, some more redfish. Some cod. Oh, only a good couple of pollock and haddock, I don't know, whatever they are. You guys are probably screaming going, it's pollock, you idiot. I really don't know. I think that's cod. Obviously it's redfish, but, you know. Some silver hake. Silver hake. Ooh, nearly four and a half thousand. That's pretty good. Alright, you go and the rest. You go and gut. And let's head back to town. Alright, we'll go like this. I wonder if it's, it takes less fuel doing it this way. I don't know. Then, fast travelling. As long as we don't get... Oh, this is going to be an accident. Where'd he go? Ah, he disappeared. I thought that was an accident for sure then. Ah, something is blocking us. Yep, that's cool. Alright, so she's still going. So, she's, she's, she's going alright, but she's done next to nothing. Um... Let's have a look at the price. We should have looked at the price before we came here, shouldn't we? It's still it's tanking a little bit, as you can see. Um, but what's that? Silver, snow crab, and lobster. This obviously staying the same. Uh, tuna's gone up a bit. Swordfish, you see, because we're not fishing that anymore, it's gone up again. Uh, mackerel's gone up. So this is where you've got to sort of think: is it worthwhile to do it this way or not? Um, let's skip two hours at a time. I just want to keep her out there. There we go, she's too tired to work. Uh, bring him out. I know it doesn't really help us skip in a couple of hours, but you know, it doesn't matter. I just want to skip and let them get their stats up. And the stamina went up, good. He's still there. And gunning's gone up. He's still going. Been out there for ages. Uh, where is he at? His hand gunning's still not great, really. Um, catch time. Uh, so it's not that old. Um, let's skip through like another four hours and then we'll get the rest done ourselves. Yep. Thanks, Victor. Thanks for your hard work. Right, let, let us finish it off. Six hours on each. They, oh, six, oh, Jesus. Six hours together they did, so that's not bad. But obviously, we're not doing one fish at a time. We're doing like kilos at a time. If we had to do this for one fish at a time, I'd be pretty bloody annoyed. Well, that was terrible. Right, five and a half. Whoa, Jesus. That was like a bit of a twitch in my hand, that was terrible. This has been terrible. Like I'm I'm making um I'm making them guys look good. They might take a little bit longer, but they're probably definitely doing it better than I am. Alright, there we go. Last one. Perfect. Uh, let's go. Dock at Yarmouth. Uh, Haddock. Oh, Haddock tanked. So did Pollock. Still 70,000. Still pretty good. Can't complain. Uh, let's re get fuel. Let's change our rigging to... Long line. Don't want to do that. Let's go. Fishing gear. A thousand hook. Maximum 12. We'll get 12. Um... Let's look at the fish prices. 
everything's sort of tanked here, so let's have a look. Um, yes, you don't have to tell me. Um, let's look at Yarmouth. Lunenburg is still quite high. Lockport, Ingalls Head, Dennis Point. What's Ingalls Head got? Their Pollock and Haddock is high. And Silver Hake. Oh, Lunenburg. God, they got some good price of cod at Lunenburg, but that's and Pollock, but that's a fair way to travel, but look at the price. I mean we can't knock that back, can we? We can't knock back cod and pollock at that price. I know Lunenburg's a mile away, but um Okay. Let's check again. Lunenburg, Cod and Pollock. So Pollock's the darker one that looks like Cod. Okay. That'll help me. Bait, I think. Um, so orange and blue. Orange and green, I should say, is what we go for. So orange. Yeah, so crab. We get six crab. And then six shrimp. I think that's right. Uh, why do we have... One, two, three, four, five. There's only five of each. Why did it do that? Crab. That one. Done. Right, let's go to the bar quickly. Yeah, that's free. It's tuna. Who cares? Um, that's all we really need to do at the moment. So let's get out of here. And um, I guess we'll end, us, end the episode here, guys. But next episode, we'll do some long lining. And we'll head to Lunenburg for our sail. So maybe we should come down here. Um, yeah, definitely down here. And we'll do some long line fishing. And um, head up to Lunenburg to make the sail. And hopefully, we can make some good cash from these guys up here. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you want to see it continue guys new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon